Good morning, brothers, sisters, Church of the Living God. Hello, hi. Uh, I'm going to make this very quick video. Um, stumbled across this last night, and um, I just not going to play this whole thing. Um, this is, you know, to um, inform the Church of the Living God, the body of Christ, and also um, to make people aware of some some things okay now i'm just going to play this and um like i said uh here let me let me get to the uh full screen there we go there we go okay beg your pardon pay attention we're not going to play this whole thing but and this uh tucker carlson guy i could really give two rats rear ends uh, about what this uh, guy says or whatever but check this out Check this out. You'll, you'll find this interesting. Okay? Good evening and welcome to a special edition of Tucker Carlson Tonight. In one of her first official acts as vice president back in February, Kamala Harris decided to declare what she called a national emergency. And the emergency is that there are uh, women are leaving the workforce. Feminism. But, but. See, see that? You see that? Yeah. Check this out. And right away, that seems strange. Normally, it's the president's job to declare national emergencies. The vice president's job is to oversee vice. Just kidding. We're not actually not sure what the vice president's job is, but it's definitely not that. But Kamala Harris did it anyway in the pages of Jeff Bezos' personal newspaper, The Washington Post. This new national emergency, Kamala Harris informed us, is, quote, the mass exodus of women from the workplace. Apparently, there are still some women... Oh, you mean that uh, women might be uh, keepers at home? Yeah, yeah, like uh, uh, the scriptures, uh, a woman is to be a keeper at home. Yes, yes, we've gotten away from that here in America, and ta-da, look what happened. Okay, but well, hold up. Women in America who secretly prefer to raise their own children rather than toil away like worker bees for some soulless publicly traded corporation. Wall Street is upset about that, of course, so Kamala Harris sounded the alarm. <laughs> the Harris-Biden administration. And there have been several uh, occasions when Smoking Joe has referred to President Harris as she is President Harris, okay? The Jesuit order has selected Kamala Harris to be our president. Smoking Joe is just a front man, okay? There are those of you out there who, uh, you know, uh, will say things like, well, Smoking Joe, he's he's a bumbling idiot. He's got Dame Bramage and that kind of stuff. And yeah, he, he does, but <laughs> you got to remember something, brother. People. The Jesuit order. Roman Catholicism, History of Babylon the Great, the Mother of Harlots and Abominations of the Earth, okay? They run the world. They are allowed to run the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. He has, like, go ahead, for judgment upon this world, okay? Okay? The Jesuits are the ones who have put in Kamala Harris to be the president of America, okay? They are the ones that have been allowed to be in control, okay? You have got to remember that. Joe Biden is not an idiot, okay? Very similar to Pope Francis. Uh, people will look at Pope Francis and think he's just a blundering idiot. No. See, Pope Francis is uh, fulfilling a uh, duty to make modern Catholicism look abhorrent onto pre-Vatican II Catholics, okay? Pre-Vatican II, Vatican II, the smokescreen of ecumenicalism written by the Jesuits to bring all erring peoples back under the headship of Rome, okay? The Catholics that are pre-Vatican II, they're looking at Francis and they're doing one of these things. And yes, uh, Francis is doing quite the silly amount of uh, acting and things. Yes, 
to make what is modern Catholicism look abhorrent to those who are the purest of Roman Catholicism, okay? Hence, hence, when the church of the living God be redeemed, okay, and that man of sin, the son of perdition come, he's going to clean up Catholicism, okay? You have to remember that. Uh, smoking Joe, just like uh, Francis, they're, pur they're purposely doing that to set up the other. Smoking Joe there, he's purposely, I believe, even though I do believe he's got a screw loose, obviously, but, but he is purposely doing these things, okay, to lift up Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, who is a Jesuit herself, okay? Yes, there is such a thing as women Jesuits, okay? Yes, there are. There are women that work for the Jesuit order, okay? Remember, according to the Jesuits themselves, you go to one of their schools, get one of their fancy schmancy paper degrees for $150,000 or whatever, according to them, you are a Jesuit. Now, granted, you are on the low tier of the Jesuits <laughs> when you get one of their <laughs> priceless education, okay? But nonetheless, they consider you one of their own when you go to a Jesuit university. Hey, you're thinking about going to a college, huh? There's something wrong with you. I really think there is if you're thinking of going to a college, especially this late of hour. But anyway, okay, okay, enough. Check this out. Come on. Alarm. Our female workforce emergency, she wrote, demands a national. Look at that. Look at that. Some of you might be saying, uh, yes, so what? It's a picture of our president, of our American president, our Jesuit American president, Kamala Harris. So what? See that thing around her head there? Y'all know what a nimbus is? Nimbus. That is a circular kind of cloud or halo around somebody's head to signify deity. Oh, yeah. Now, 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 hold up. There are those who would argue, well, Fox News, <laughs> they did that on purpose. They, you know, whatever. Okay. The point is, you got to remember that Catholicism is replacement theology, okay? You have to remember that. And we today, in this dispensation, the time of the Gentiles, we walk by faith, not by sight. But see, Roman Catholicism, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abomination, abominations of the earth, and her army, the Jesuit order, they're all about the signs and wonders, okay? They are all about flesh, things to be seen, okay? So even if Fox News purposely put the nimbus around our president's head, okay, even if they, okay, nonetheless, this is out there. You got to remember, Ronald Reagan was the very first American president who was sworn in in front of the obelisk or the Washington Monument in 1981, okay? Which was a sign unto all the Jesuits across the world that they had infiltrated and overtaken all the churches of the world, okay? That was a sign, okay? You gotta, you gotta remember, they are replacement theology, meaning Roman Catholicism. The Jews require a sign, okay? While the Greeks, Gentiles, seek after wisdom, okay? Today, again, we are saved by grace through faith, okay? We walk by faith, not by sight. Roman Catholicism, who thinks they are replacing the Jew, 
They need signs and wonders. Okay? Get your authorized version of the scripture. Okay? Very quickly. Just a, just a few. A few scriptures we're going to go through. Very few. Go to Matthew chapter 24. The previous video I've done. Uh, touched on this, but we're going to touch on it again. Okay? Matthew chapter 24. Verses 4 and 5. Matthew chapter 24 is about the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, Matthew chapter 23, the lead up to the time of uh, Jacob's trouble. Matthew chapter 24, she's talking about the time of Jacob's trouble, which Roman Catholicism refers to as the Great Tribulation, which Roman Catholicism teaches is for the purification of the church. No, it's the time of Jacob, Israel. The Jews trouble, okay? The church of the living God, the body of Christ, okay? The church of the living God, inaccurately referred to as Christians. We, we are not on the earth. We are not there. We get redeemed, caught up before that happens, okay? Okay? Hence, again, put into the equation, like I said, uh, Francis acting like a bluttering idiot, and he's not, okay? Time of the church's trouble is what Roman Catholicism teaches. Okay. Matthew chapter 24, verses 4 and 5. 4 and 5, okay? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Now, again. <clears throat> Are people going to be going around saying, Hi, how you doing? I'm Jesus Christ. No. No. Even during the time of Jacob's trouble, people look at that. Uh, if someone's walking, Hi, I'm Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. No, they'll look at him like, You're crazy. And today, while the Church of the Living God is here, you know, the Church of the Living God would be all over them. Okay? But, For many shall come in my name. Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. I am Christ, meaning an anointed one, the anointed one, okay? That this way is the anointed way, okay? It's not that someone is going to say, be walking around, the, that man of sin, the son of perdition, obviously, after the church of the living God is redeemed, he's going to go forth conquering and to conquer, okay? And then midway through the time of Jacob's trouble, he's going to go into the third rebuilt temple and say, I am Christ, okay? Yes, that's going to happen. But there are going to be many that are going to be saying, uh, I am Christ, meaning I am anointed. This is the anointed way, see, okay? That's what Catholicism is doing, okay? You got to remember that. Many will come and say, I am Christ. I am the anointed, or this is the anointed way, you could say, okay? Go to the book of Revelation. Go to the book of Revelation. I have several videos touching on this, several, several, but like I said, I came across this, and, I'm, and I sent that to several uh, brethren, and I'm like, oh, wow, wow. <laughs> the Jesuits obviously um, have trust that their plans are going to succeed, or else they wouldn't make their plans public. It's a daring act. Jesuits are daring men. That's a Brad Eyes quote from the book, The Black Pope by M.F. Cusack. Suggest you get that. It's not needful, but it is helpful. Okay. Revelation. Uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. And poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now, Roman Catholicism doesn't go out bluntly and say we're Jews. No, they don't. You're right. But to replace, because remember, unto the Catholic. It's the great tribulation for the purification of the church. Hence, 
they are replacement theology, they, that the church has replaced the Jew, Israel, okay? That the church is Israel, okay? Okay? You got to remember that. They are not openly saying we're Jewish. No, they're saying that the church has replaced Israel. They're replacement theology, see? They're saying they are Jews, and they are not. Okay, very similar to those who are of um, the kindred of the Hamites, who say that they are the true uh, Jews. But, okay, that's impossible. Okay, your kindred is linked onto Ham. Okay, you cannot be the true Jews, the true Hebrews. Okay, you understand? Okay, okay, so. Catholics say they are Jews and are not because they are replacement theology, okay? But see again, that is called a nimbus. That to Catholicism signifies deity, okay? Now, I'm going to show you some. From this disgusting, grotesque catechism made for little children, okay? Look at that. Now, see, see that? Do you see that? Okay, hopefully I can't see myself, but do you see that? Okay, that's a nimbus. Check this out. Look at this. Can you see that? Huh? Look at that. The nimbus around Semiramis, the queen of heaven, Diana, the, the Ephesians head. Do you see that? Okay. Yeah, you see it. You, you do see that, right? You do see that, right there. Okay, but oh wait, 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 wait. There's a better one. Check this out. Check that out. Look at that. You see that? That is a nimbus around the Roman Catholic Mary's head, signifying signifying deity. That. And, of course, Roman Catholics, they don't worship Mary. No, they venerate her. You say tomato. I say tomato. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, again, see? The nimbus, the halo. You'll, you, you will see this all throughout the teachings of Catholicism, and here, here, here's the satanic. Here's something. Look at that. There's the there's the third member of the satanic trinity, the bird <laughs> with the nimbus around it. <laughs> see that? Yeah, yeah. So you see a nimbus around the head of Kamala Harris, the president of the United States. What does this mean? Well, like I told you, I, like I have been telling you, Kamala Harris is the president of the United States. When she will be officially the president of the United States, I don't know. Probably sometime soon. If Smoking Joe is allowed to finish his so-called term, And if President, uh, uh, ex-President Trump decides to run again against the anointed one, Kamala Harris with the Nimbus. Okay, now again, if Fox News purposely did that, whatever, but nonetheless, a picture of Kamala Harris with a Nimbus around it? Hello, people. Hello. Hello? Who's in control? God is in control, yes. But see, our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, has allowed the devil to do what he is doing to bring about judgment. And those of you of other nations, that is America's judgment right there. President Kamala Harris. Okay? 
You need to understand that. You need to understand that. Okay? And you got to remember also too, brethren. We are to hate that which is evil and cleave to that which is good. Go to Revela uh, Revelation. Go to Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Verse 9. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor. Abhor means extreme hatred. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. And there is none good but one. That is who? God, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father. Okay? We are to abhor that which is evil. Okay? Go to Psalm 139. Now, I have a video on this also about perfect hatred. Okay? Psalm 139. I see you calling. <laughs> Psalm 139. Come on, fingers look. Psalm 139. Oh, let's see. Let's begin at verse 17 on to verse 24 in Psalm 139. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the, than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God! Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly. And thine enemies take thy name in vain. Catholicism is the enemy of Jesus Christ. Catholicism, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, is Satan's church. Okay? Hence, Catholicism. Okay? You and I, as the church of the living God, we are to hate Catholicism. <gasps> you mean we are the church and living God? We are supposed to hate something? Yes. We are supposed to hate that which is evil and cleave to that which is good. How do you know what is evil? Search the scriptures daily whether these things be so. Okay? If it's against, if it's against the scriptures, guess what? It's evil. You understand? And see, you got this false Christendom out there telling you to love everybody. God loves all. Right? <laughs> Disgusting. No. 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 God's love is a is at Calvary. Christ and him crucified. Okay? If you reject the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are his enemy. God's wrath is for you if you reject the truth of the gospel. Okay? So we are to hate that which is evil. That doesn't mean that you hate the Roman Catholic person. A person is a spirit, soul, and body. Remember, you and I, we are made in the image of God. We have a spirit, we have a soul, and we have a body. Okay? You are not to hate the person. Okay? But we are to hate the religion of Catholicism. The religion. We are to hate what is evil. Let's continue, okay? Verse 21. And I do have a video on this about perfect hatred, okay? Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. You hate the Lord. They're my enemy. And I know several people out there who do hate our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. You hate my father, you're my enemy. Guess what? You hate my father, I hate you. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. And guess what? Roman Catholicism hates my father. Hence, I hate Roman Catholicism. And I want to see the Catholic get out of Catholicism and get saved before it is too late. But there are those out there, Jesuits and certain others, who have made their choice and gone past the point of no return. Who are destined for hell. I pity those people. I really do. I really do. But when it comes to Roman Catholicism, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, Yes, we are to hate Roman Catholicism. They hate my father, our Lord Jesus Christ. I hate them. Roman Catholicism. Not the Catholic person, spiritual and body, no. But mystery of Babylon, okay? Verse 21 again. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I, gr and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Okay? Go to Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Psalm 119. Mem. Psalm 119. Mem. What is Psalm 119? Mem. Uh, verses 97 under verse 104. Psalm 119. Mem. Oh, how love I thy law. It is the meditation. It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. Where do you get God's commandments and his law? The authorized version of the scriptures. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. Okay, having more understanding than your teachers and the ancients are equated unto those who are, for their, thy testimonies are my meditation, because I keep thy precepts. You get it? You adhere your life unto the scriptures, being of the church of the living God. You have God, our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lord is that spirit dwelling within you. See? Let's continue. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Job 28, 28. I have not departed from thy judgment, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Where do you get God's precepts? The authorized version of the scripture. Okay? Through thy precepts I get understanding. Understanding is to depart from evil. Do you get it? Therefore, I hate every false way. And hello, Roman Catholicism, Lutheranism. Methodists, Pentecostal Charismatic, Jehos, Jehovah's Witnesses, okay, Morons, Mormons, 
And no, I'm not going to be polite. Okay? Calvinism. Oh, yeah, Calvinism. Yeah. Yeah. Buddhism. Islam. And we can go on and on and on. Anything that is contrary to my father's word, the authorized version of the scripture. Anything. Any, all these religions out there, I hate every false way. There is only one way. Our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. You see? Oh yeah, and and uh, and Francis um, Francis recently made a statement, and I'll, I'll have to find this link. Uh, a sister sent it to me about how basically Francis said that people who were uncompromising are the enemy. Pretty much, pretty much. I'll, I'll have to find that link, um, sister. If you do watch this, please put the link in the description box, okay? If I can't find it, <laughs> I've got lots of links I go through. But um, yeah, yeah. Who is Francis talking about? Well, those of us who have a standard, the authorized version of the scriptures, and aren't going to compromise. That's who he was talking about. He was talking about us, the church of the living God, maybe. Oh, and one more, okay? Go to Ain, Psalm 119, Ain. What is that? Verses 121 under verse 128, okay? Psalm 119, Ain. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail, mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. Again, where do you get his testimonies, his statutes? How do you learn of righteousness? By your feelings? No, by the authorized version of the scriptures. God does not save you, dear friend, to leave you from whence he found you, but to bring you along a path of sanctification, of holiness, being separate, okay? And you are not to live outside of the scripture. You understand? Verse 125. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore, I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning, concerning all things to be right. And I hate every false way. The authorized version of the scriptures. This is God's word. Anything else is a fake. There is only one the authorized version of the scriptures. And you take this, the authorized version of the scriptures, and you use this as your base text to translate this into other tongues. That's what I believe. Unfortunately, do a majority of the people out there do that? Probably not. No. But that is what I believe and that is what I stick to. This is God's perfect word. Okay? So, again, the, United, the President of the United States, Kamala Harris, has a nimbus around her head in that picture, um, signifying many things. Kamala Harris, President Kamala Harris, 
is the judgment of America. And you watch. Maybe, hey, maybe Smoking Joe is going to fulfill his full term, whatever. I don't know. I don't really care. Okay? You mark my words. Sooner or later, Kamala Harris is going to be the official president of this nation. And especially in the 2024, okay? Uh, okay, in 2024, especially if Trump is going to be running. And our American people here are so ingrained with this satanic feminism. Trump ain't going to stand a chance. <laughs> Trump ain't going to stand a chance against Kamala Harris. And besides, like I said, the Jesuits want Kamala Harris up there, okay? So it's not like Republican or Democami or Republican and Democami. No, no. It's the Hegelian principle, controlling both sides of the argu argument to produce their desired outcome. Yeah, like I said, I, I sent this to several brethren uh, last night, uh, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, she she does look like a man, doesn't she? She does, <laughs> she does. But Kamala Harris with the nimbus, y'all better wake up, people. Y'all better wake up soon. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, very quick, just wanted to bring this to your attention, okay? Thank you so much for watching this if you do. We love you. See you in the next video. Okay, I'll, I'll stop this. <laughs>